three wire control, low voltage protection. This type of control is gonna utilize two separate field devices, a uh, normally closed and a normally open, typically, but not always, uh, for the starting and stopping portion of the circuit and uh, their momentary contact devices, as in they're spring-loaded and they return to their original position uh, once they have been released by a user. So let's see what happens. Uh, the first thing is we close the push button for start and it energizes the coil at which time the coil changes the state of all contacts. Notice what now happens. We have a parallel path for current to flow. It is now flowing both through the closed contact and through the push button. The next step is I release my finger from the push button and the coil remains energized because the current for the coil is flowing through the closed contact, which is referred to as the holding contact. If we want to turn off the motor, we need to press the normally closed push button, which will cut the power to the coil, in which case the coil will release the contacts back to their original positions. When I remove my finger from the stop push button, Power is again established to the start push button and the holding contact, but it does not start because the contact has gone back to its original open position. So let's go through the process again. This time, what we're going to have is a power failure. And the power failure, when the power comes back on, is there going to be a hazard uh, if we had been cutting through a large uh, sheet of plywood? We're halfway through the plywood and the power went out. When the power comes back on, this is what happens. Nothing. It's quite, quite quiet, uh, anticlimactic. Nothing happens. And that's because I need to uh, ensure that the site is safe or that the, the piece of machinery is in a safe functioning condition prior to starting it again. So low voltage protection uses the term three wire control because of the number of control conductors required to connect the field devices back to the motor starter. NEMA one connects to our stop push button. The stop push button connects to the start push button. The start push button connects back to NEMA 3 as well as NEMA 2. Again, when we press the start push button down, it energizes the coil, which closes the contacts and starts the motor. And this brings us to the end of our presentation on low voltage protection relay control systems.